what modality is best when we're training? Well, there's a lot of different methods that we could use to hit the muscles and there's a lot of different schools of thought depending upon your marketing plan or what you're kind of pushing to the public or the program you want to sell. That's going to be the modality that most fitness professionals are going to tell you is the best one. Um, usually there's a variety of modalities that are best. I tend to find that really when it comes to strain training or building muscle, which is most what most people want to do when they practice a program of resistance training, dumbbells are your best bet. There is, however, always a place for kettlebell work, or I should say, sometimes a place for kettlebell work, but understand that the main reason why you want to use a kettlebell or the best tool that it's used for is ultimately to raise your heart rate. If you want to build strength and you want to build muscle, dumbbells come second. If you want stability work and some strength involved too, you might want to use resistance bands. So here's a few different exercises and a few different angles based on that line of thinking to train shoulders. So I am pretty asymmetrical. So I call my left shoulder the step brother. So my right shoulder is much, much stronger. So I like to take a alternate pressing approach when using dumbbells. So we're gonna do one at a time. This way I can really focus in on the weaker shoulder and I can't really compensate or shift too much to that right side. Now, I like to hit a different angle as well when doing shoulders, so I really use mainly two exercises to work shoulders. That's it. So I'm gonna press up and then I'm gonna lift to the side. So really quickly, just even right on my knees, which actually helps me to stabilize better sometimes if I choose to do it this way because there's less of my body to contend with as I'm doing the lift. So I can really set a pelvic position that's advantageous to keep the core engaged. So I might want to just lift right up to the side. Yeah, I can even come up just a little bit. Now, the best thing to do when doing this exercise is focus on that pelvis, focus on the deltoids. Don't overwork those extensions of the forearm. Now, if I want to add another component, and mind you too, this isn't even super necessary, but I want to add it into the program today because how do I frame a lot of my work is because I want to, I enjoy it. I want to do something different, right? It sort of invigorates me mentally to do it. So I'm going to do a version of a, of a high pull. Now it's almost like a half clean. So I'm going to pull that kettlebell just about up to there. Now, that really allows me mostly to engage my core, right? So it's almost like a wake up call to the body, to the trunk that sets me up again for when I go to do presses. It's also good clean training if you ever want to do that. You can clean a kettlebell, but most of the reason why you might clean a kettlebell is to press it. If you have dumbbells available, you may never ever even have to press a kettlebell. So that's just some of the things that I think about when I train shoulders.